I wanted to uh, everybody to uh, kind of gather my thoughts before I actually talked about this. I know a lot of people on YouTube and ESPN and Twitter are talking about the unfortunate uh, incident uh, with Hamlin of uh, the Buffalo Bills uh, last night. I uh, woke up to a couple texts and tweets and Instagram messages about it. And I once I gathered my thoughts when I read it, I was like, what? And then once I got myself together and looked at it, it totally crushed me. Um, I can only imagine what uh, Daryl Hamlin went through, the players of the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills, the family of both. Because let's go on record. Not only are my thoughts with, you know, Daryl Hamlin and the family, but it's also with the guy who hit uh, Hamlin. I think his name is Higgins. I'm not sure what his name was. Because I didn't watch the game, but uh, to have to live with what he did, it was in this, it was in the, the heat of a battle, obviously. But you know that, and obviously from what I heard, that they were close friends anyway. So imagine what he's going through. But to me, that that's just tragic. I mean, I've seen tragedies before. I I, I was actually watching. A lot of y'all might be too young to remember, but I remember uh, Hank Gathers. I was watching, uh, it was a NCAA basketball tournament back in the late 80s, early 90s, against from the Loyola Marymount, and he collapsed on the court, and he wound up dying. I remember that. I remember seeing, don't remember the names, but some soccer players collapsing on the field. Baseball players getting hit in heads by, by fastballs or whatever and just collapsing. It's scary. And, um, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with Hamlin. And I, I have been trying to find some updates on him as of right now, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. He's still in critical condition, but there is some optimism just by just some reports uh, that I heard. But I don't know anything, so I'm not going to say anything uh, if, you know, since I don't know, I mean, I, I'm going to wait until, you know, EFL, NFL Network or ESPN or, or something like that says it, but it was very tragic, very tragic. I, I can only imagine, you know, watching that game and seeing that happen live. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with, uh, Daryl Hamlin. Um, and I'm a believer of, Life is more important than sports. And to me, it wouldn't bother me if they canceled uh, Week 18. Obviously, they can't do it. You know, obviously, there are... Eventually, the game has to get going. And, you know, they got to set everything for the playoffs. But I wouldn't care personally myself. Um, but we all know they got to continue it eventually. But what really sticks me in the crawl... And i got to give a shout to where to hide. And i got to give a shout to uh, people on Twitter... Even football players, basketball, baseball, whatever, really went at Skip Bayless. Um, but I got to applaud everybody for understanding, at least human beings, understanding that life is more important than sports. A man's life is in jeopardy. And, you know, experiencing close death in my life, I saw a guy die in front of me. Uh, back in Miami when I was at work, not trying to compare the two, but, you know, I went outside and this guy collapsed and he was bleeding from the mouth and, um, I didn't, I wasn't trained in CPR, so I didn't know what to do. Blood was coming out of his mouth, almost like an artery busted in his stomach or something. And obviously if I did know CPR, I wouldn't give mouth to mouth to somebody that's bleeding, just, just pouring out blood. And he wound up dying, and it hit me hard. It hit me extremely hard. Obviously, I couldn't continue the day. I had to go to counseling. Uh, once I was able to, to gather myself after a week or so, week and a half, get back to work, uh, the wife of the uh, 
the man came and saw me and actually gave me a hug and consoled me because of what I saw and because I felt guilty like I could have done something, but I, there was nothing I could do. They said that there was nothing I could do. So I've seen it uh, live in person, and it's, it's a very scary thing. Um, but the remarks that Skip Bayless said, and I'm going to tell you straight out, I have never liked Skip Bayless. I've never liked Skip Bayless. I've never liked Stephen A. Smith. I commented on Where You Hiding's video. These guys think that they are better than everybody else. They think that their opinion is the only opinion. They're actually, if you want to, you want to call narcissistic, is those two. They think that unless their opinion is stated, that it doesn't matter. They over embellish. They exaggerate. I believe their emotions are fake as hell. Both of them. I don't like either one of them. I never. We actually on YouTube and stuff do better jobs than these guys, and we don't even we don't even get paid what they do. I have no respect for Stephen A. Smith and no respect for uh, Skip Bayless. But one thing I do see that uh, Stephen A. Smith has more than Skip Bayless is a heart. Yes, Stephen A. Smith is a prick and an idiot and annoying sob, but at least he has a heart. Skip Bayless is insensitive, always has been, been ego-driven. He embellishes, overreacts, and exaggerates to everything. And for him, if you, I'm going to try to post it on the thumbnail, but he said something about in his Twitter. Let me see if I can pull it up here. And it just makes me sick to my stomach. It makes me utterly sick to know that somebody would care more about a sporting event than a human life. He says, and I quote Skip Bayless, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing... Wait a minute, hold on. Let me see, because I don't have the, the full thing. It's kind of cut off, but... Uh, I, 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 I got to read this. In case, in case by some chance you haven't heard it already or read it yet, which I'm sure most of you probably have. Um, hold on. Goddamn phone, come on. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pull it up because it, I've never seen something so insensitive in my life. Let me see. I typed it in Skip Bayless tweet. Okay, actually he gave two, two tweets. One talking about it right at that moment and after the fact. Right after the collapse. No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game. But how? This late in the season? A game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems irrelevant. You are a complete dumbass, Skip. I, I mean, and I said this this morning, they should fire him. He should never be allowed to work in TV or radio again. This is utterly ridiculous for him to say something so insistent. And then he comes back and says, um, Nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my last tweet. Didn't seem like it. Uh, I'm sorry if that was misunderstood. How is, oh, he says nothing is more important than a young man's health, yet he says, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game, but how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. At what point in that tweet, Skip Bayless, did you show any concern for Hamlin's health? I'll wait. I will wait, sir. There is nothing in your original tweet that talked about that man's health. And then he says, oh, nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my... Bullshit. There was nothing about it. You're sorry because you got called out for an insensitive bastard. I'm sorry if that was misunderstood. It was not misunderstood. We saw... We, we, the whole world read exactly, exactly what was on your mind. And it showed no remorse or no... No, no uh, prayers for that man's health while he lay there on the field possibly dying. And even if he doesn't die, he could have lifelong uh, injuries, brain damage, everything. And all you cared about is a fucking football game. Again, everything else is irrelevant. I prayed for him. Yeah, only because you're called out on it. Wow. Just unbelievable, unbelievable that somebody could be so inconsiderate. Like I said, it, I, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if, 
I mean, there were. I mean, if I was Shannon Sharp, I would just knock his lights out, because you know there's gonna be some bitterness there. Um, because I mean, you got Skip Bayless, who's never played a damn sport in his life, sitting around players like Shannon Sharp. And at one point, you know, with Shannon Sharp, who actually played professional football, college football, put his life on the line every day. You get hit the wrong way, you could get paralyzed, brain damage, concussions, killed, whatever. Okay? How do you think Shannon Sharp feels? How, how do you think he feels? Okay? Sitting right next to Skip Bayless... Basically insulting every NFL player or every every NFL player who saw every human being who signed up for millions, yes, but put their lives on the line to entertain us. And all we do is watch the games on our couch, go to games, get drunk, eat food, bitch, complain, and move on to the next week. We don't got to suffer through the injuries that these guys got to go through. We don't get hit like that, right? And Shannon Sharp is probably like, Skip Bayless, you're basically insulting what I did and everybody else did. Man, that is the most... If that is not a fireable offense, I don't know what is. And, and, and ESPN should fine him and, or damn near suspend him for sure. Because if you saw Skip Bayless's uh, little bullshit thing on ESPN, it was all fake. I mean, go watch it. I think it was on Undisputed. Go watch his so-called apology. It was crap. Fake facial expressions, fake emotion, trying to over embellish and exaggerate everything. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. That is an embarrassment. So, you know, I had to get that out. You know, I mean, I played sports not like that, but I got hit in the face with a baseball. And that hurt. Could you imagine being hit in a heart, being, and all of a sudden being in a hospital and stop breathing or whatever, fighting for your life? Oh my gosh, shame on you, Skip Bayless. Shame on you, man. But my thoughts and prayers are with Hamlin, the Buffalo Bills, the Cincinnati Bengals, the family of Hamlin, the friends, the teammates, the opposition, all NFL players, all college players. Hell, my prayers are and thoughts are with every single person who plays a, a sport from whatever level that risks getting injured and possibly uh, fatal. To entertain us at all levels. Just an embarrassment. And it makes you, it, sometimes it makes you, it makes you, you know, you feel like, it's like, sometimes I feel disgraceful even being a human being. This shows how inconsiderate people are. That's why on Twitter and YouTube, these idiots that act like crazed maniacs, threaten people, dox people, just drama all over the place, acting like, you know, I, I Acting like the whole world's a game. You know? It's it's just embarrassing. And, uh... Wow. I don't know what else to say, man. But I really had to get this out. Uh, and, and my thoughts and prayers. I'm hoping to wake up at some point to some good news of Hamlin. I don't know if he'll ever play football again. I, I would probably doubt it. But it's more about football. It's It's more about having this man live. Having this man have a family, have have kids, their parents see him get married, have him having a productive life and enjoying life. That's what this most importantly is about. And I pray that I get that news. So, Mr. Hamlin, sir, my thoughts and prayers are with you from Atlanta. And uh, thoughts and prayers, man, is all I can say. Skip Bayless, shame on you. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.